Scotty trying to cut one off this tee, looking anxiously at it. Needs a kick. Oh, that's going to be blocked out over there. Clears the trees nicely. Uh, just didn't quite get the jump. That's about 40 or 50 yards short. Yeah, this is that Zoro Zoysia, 10 yards closer to be on the prism. Yeah, it's much much tighter on that prism. It sure they, use is. they use a different mower for that, and it's down really, really tight. It's harder to kind of catch those, clip them as nicely as what Bones just said off that stuff. A miss from Scotty and a make from Xander. That two shot lead is gone on the first hole. No, it's almost unfair. Scotty. And there's the first half of that equation. There's going to be ebbs and flows at the top of this leaderboard. Although you do have a two shot lead, that's not the start that Scotty was looking for. He started this event multiple years in a row now. He's cutting line very aggressively here. Did not get the kick. That was a really awkward bounce. It's like hit on the knitting of the, the fringe there and came all the way back. Mine is calling for long putts to drop today. He was aimed up Similar from Keegan Bradley's here. So he is well par today through two holes, which is one better than yesterday. Stays there at nine under. But if you're the rest of the field, it's the value of playing from the short grass. Hitting a high cut. Good looking shot. Yeah, Frank position A. He's going to get a short iron in his hand, be able to go right after that hole. It's nothing more than a comfortable pitching. Took the longer of the two clubs and just three quartered it. There you go. That's what we're used to seeing last week in that altitude. He didn't know where that golf ball was waiting on a shot like that. Still gonna have a nice the nuances on these greens are so new. Go to the left. All right. All right. So Scotty makes his three at three, and he is back in the lead, albeit by one, not two. To that wind that he loves. Aim down the middle, cut one up against it. This is going further left than he wants. Boy, but it carries the bunker and. Appears to be in Scotty's got decision time now. He's C minus line this rough 153. Does he try and knock it on the green or live it short left and get the ball up and down? And he is going after. He's playing short. Yeah, it's the right play. Um, third coming up at four for Sheffield. How about this one for Scotty at four? Yeah, Scotty's staying with his theme from yesterday. Granted, he liked to sat down nice and low, just a soft shot. Just a beautiful motion there. Don't you think you got a good looking view there? The setup, look at his arms parallel there with the hole. putter shaft. Didn't try to get too aggressive with that second shot. Left it short, played it to there. Scotty Scheffler's on the tee now at the fifth. Three wood in hand. See if he's going to try and bend this around that turn just a bit to try. It's a cut up the left edge. Just needs one bounce and it should be perfect. Yeah, this view that we just saw there really shows how much of a dog leg this hole is from right to left, and that fair take out that left bunker, aim a step or two right of it. That crisp sound we're used to hearing from Scotty when he's bailed on this one. It's cutting. Looks aggressive. Okay, we're going left of it. He gets to sit. Scotty's so good at finding room in between flag six. You can see him playing it outside the hole on the right side, expecting this to break. The strokes gain category. Just always looked like he was aimed too high, even from this angle that we had. I mean, I wouldn't have been it's like he just hit it right on his down. line. Just maybe a bit of a misread here, which we're going to see a little bit of that this week. Guys are still getting comfortable with these green surfaces and how they break. On this line, this needs to get 16, down just a soft first bounce. It's made for him that. right here. And that's kind of the steeper cut part. it. You can you aim at that second bunker course, and not right reach it. Is it cutting though? Yeah. Scotty launching it very high in the air. Just trying to get it anywhere on the surface and have the ball stop. Josh carries on. Kind of hit that down slope down a little from Lucky. Here. It's going to go over the back. And that oh, that there. is going to be an hill. unbelievable stance. How about that stance? <laughs> That's so steep there. He I, cannot see. Hard to make clean, clean contact. It's not a penalty anymore. But you don't want to do it. And That's just going to chase. It could go off the green. 
Look better from that angle than the other angle. Yeah. Really yeah. Bunker wasn't in his way. He could take an aggressive little chip shot at it. You just don't tip to his right a little bit. Short game that pitch. He played from long right with exquisite. That's enough. Late. Norm normally that shot you play, you want to watch it run by. I don't know if he saw it. Yeah, he I'm sure he does that too. But he, yeah, he, as like you said, he went to. Like, Scotty going with the big boy should be aiming a little further left here. Hit this very hard. It's on a good line. He just got to stay out of that second. It's up the center of the fairway. Let's see what it does relative to that second bunker. Oh, this could get way down there. This will be as so long as it hangs in there. That'll be fine. Oh yeah. Big swing with that nine, cutting it towards the dead center of the green. Yeah, it's a safe play. You could see the grimace on his face. He wasn't exactly happy with it. I think he was just annoyed by the wind. It was a nice putt, just like Brad taught him. Scotty, for his birdie at seven. Let's see if he can get it there. He did, and he drops it in. Scotty Scheffler. You never know when he's just going to bust out and go on one of these crazy stretches. Three out of four, four out of five. Scotty going with three wood. 290 to the left bunker. He's bailed out on this one. This heading towards the gallery on the right. Gets a kick, though. And he gets a nice break there, not to be in the, the Bermuda grass. So he'll be able to spin that ball, you know, with a. It's almost like it's a corner of the green, this whole location, and you don't say that very often. He's drawing this well left of the flag. Not taking any chances. We've seen that conservative last hole. Up and over a ridge, turning slightly from right to left. I mean, he started at 10 under. It's just crazy. <laughs> Into. Through the eighth hole, day two. He's got the ninth. Take with Scotty Scheffler. Eight iron from 188. That's a big eight iron, Bones. Good looking shot. He's trying to go. Yeah. Oh! It's a good looking Almost shot. jumped in on the bounce. It's hard for him to turn shots over. He's got to use some body English to do it. Bones, Scotty has a, a chance to pull away here. This should go just slightly to the right. It's good for my It's fast as well. That is slick from that side. You saw his, uh, the number of his golf balls is six. It's, it's, he's one of the few guys that, that plays with the six, seven, eight. You know, most guys use a one, two, three, or a four for the number on their ball. Just take right back on the tee here, Scheffler. Hitting driver trying to peel one off the left edge. Just needs one bounce and should be in good shape. Scheffler, this is second at 10. Also an aggressive play. Nothing to stop this from being close. Just a little bit too far. You see that little ridge that brings it over to the right, but that was right over the top of the flag. That goes in McElroy's favor. So yeah, I mean, I can see a pathway to it. 221, trying to land this about 205. And Jensi is drawing it right at Trying the to cut, maybe a ground cut. Deep. See how far it scoots up there. Off, yeah, not too bad. Yep. That there works away from the no question about it. We heard Gary Young talk about it on TV this morning. The head rules official here about how they had to give the players just a little bit more space given the newness of the golf course. Yeah, it's just so well judged. Looks like he's aiming right down that bunker and just let it cut off of that bunker. Sending it up the left side. And doing just that, cutting to the very center of the fairway, it appears. It just looks like he's going to hit that shot every time. From 105 yards, just dead red Vinny Johnson here. <laughs> it's an offense he's hoping for. Like real wave. There you go. That's what you expect to see from Scheffler. What he's been doing all week. I know you and I definitely like to do Never a doubt. Scotty Scheffler, number one, started the day with a two-shot lead. He's up three. New hole. He's starting up the left side, but falling right should be in good shape. And that second bunker is 326 to it, but the fairway. Too, he's got to be looking at this flag intently as well. Yep. <laughs> Got a little ground kick too there, Steve. 
wow, good position now to create some space for himself. And Shoffley already missed. Playing for a bogey at this point. Can even hit the green. Yep. Never a doubt for Scotty. All of a sudden, he's at a baker's dozen under par. Well, it's, it's a drive you want to kind of keep it down the left side if you can. Higher than average, 180. The left side as he looks and he it. loves it. Yeah, most of the time when you have two or three feet of oh, curve, he should. The most part Watch this thing run down the hill. The fairway unless you're just bad at aiming. You know how hard it is to make a lot of I can't see the fairway at all. Miles I think he's just going to try to fly just over that bunker and get it to chase up on top of the social grass. I think you're exactly right. Cutting this from the left center of the green. This is a good looking shot. We'll see an eagle putt if this is the right club. That's a good lead. Oh, yeah. Well, with his short Whole high Scotty Sheffler again. You know, he's had a lot to manage there. Downhill line. Okay, Scotty Sheffler taking the putter left here at the 14th hole. Up this slope. Did he hit it? Let's see if he judges it right. Way past. Justin, you were down there one day. Maybe you should have taken the putter so you didn't reset the watt. Wouldn't you want to use the best club in your bag, too? Exactly. So, uh, I, I don't well, know. It's an easy four. So There'll be a little bit of disappointment there that he wasn't to make a aggressive enough on that shot, but beautiful drive still to, to 14 it. under and right now yeah, up by five. Back Look at the difference in the water. Moving back at him. A little gust right there with this belt. Drawing it just right of the hole. Okay, that's the safe play. Still no be inside of that 10 foot mark that Matthew Pavone has set. But I agree with you, Bones. Should make this. It's been relevant, nice. That would have been four in a row for Scotty. How many times does he look at Ted? Year before, shot spot? 65, just got, had a tough yeah, fourth round just, shooting at 73. Puts every, you know, Pretty much every single ball from that distance at some point you get it. So we should have something in the 60s today with all those circles we're seeing. Right, right, right. This bunker's right, you gotta carry it over 295 yards. Going away from that bunker. A right for no, that's a different <laughs> slope's a little shot. to the right, but that's perfect. It settles right Pins there on the left. In the fairway. Screaming for it to go. Yeah, pretty good. Chance. I give him a better chance than that. Yeah, I think so too on these greens. If you hit it, move it on the club. It's, it's a way to get yourself to, to go and trigger your swing. Scotty taking driver down the left side. I think he really likes this one. He certainly is a ball, shouldn't be flying. Boy, that is beauty. I mean, this fairway is the hardest fairway to hit today on any par four. He's got to help something inside of five or six feet here. He's almost too close. Almost short sided. Let's see if he's pulling it off. Yeah, he won't be happy with that. For a six shot lead. And he does cash it in. Scotty Scheffler, he's five under today. I wonder if he'll tie and take a draw here, Terry. This is a shot up the left side. He's anxiously watching it. Just got in the thick rough, but you can see enough of it. He'll easily be able to get up that in the front bunkers. Strike where he is now. This is where the fairway used to be on the old course. Well, this game's screaming out of here. Yep, that's Kicks where when into the, the mark was. Yeah, kind of came down yep. that hill. He's got to be careful here. You want to get this high. That little move, Terry, when he takes it. He actually managed to get a little spin on that ball. That's a really nicely played bunker shot from that awkward live. Like you said on 18, he wants so to make this so badly because I get three wood off the tee and both of these guys hitting the fairway on 18. Both of them make it pretty routine. Got it there this time. Man, what a day. What a season.